The best cafe in the world! <laughs> I wonder where Ben is today. I haven't seen him yet. Hoo -hoo. Hello, Small. Hello, everyone. Have I got a surprise for you? You're going to love this. Hello, Ben. A surprise? How exciting! What is it? Oh, have I got a letter from my Auntie Alison? Oh, no. Oh, um. Oh! Have you bought me ice lollies from me fan's ice cream van? Ha <laughs> ha, no. Oh, has my comic arrived? No, I'll give you a clue. Someone very special is coming to stay. Oh, who is it, Ben? OK, he's got big floppy ears. He goes boing, 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 <laughs> boing. <laughs> and he loves munching on carrots. Hee <laughs> hee. That's easy, Ben. Is it a rabbit? Is a rabbit coming to stay? I love rabbits. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, yes, look. It's Fluffy the rabbit. Sally from down the road has gone on holiday and asked if he can come and stay with us for a few days. Isn't it exciting, Small? Yes, it is. Let me see him. Woohoo! Hello there, Fluffy. Hello, Fluffy. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ben, there's just one problem. What's that? We don't have anywhere to put him. Oh, dear. I didn't think of that. Hmm. And there's a customer. I'd better get back. I'll just put him in the garden for the time being. There you go. We better think of somewhere for him to stay before it gets dark, Small. In the meantime, let's see who our customer is. I'm on my way! Woohoo! Who's in our cafe today, Small? You'll never believe who it is, Ben. Well, give me a clue then. There's three of them. Three of them? And they're all oinking at each other. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. And they're carrying tools. A hammer, a saw, and a trowel. <laughs> oh, I think I know who it is. Is it the three little pigs? That's right, Ben. The three little pigs are in our cafe. What are we going to cook for them? I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One day, it was time for them to leave home. They decided to build their own houses. The first little pig built his house out of straw and huddled up for the night. He didn't expect to hear from a big bad wolf who came knocking at his door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, or I'll huff and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, shouted the little pig. So the wolf huffed and puffed and blew the house in. The next little pig decided to build his house out of wood and sticks, and he huddled up for the night. He didn't expect to hear from the big bad wolf who came knocking at his door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, shouted the little pig. So the wolf huffed and puffed and blew the house in. Now, I happened to be walking through the wood when I bumped into the last little pig. He was very worried and didn't know what to do. He didn't want his house to be blown down by the wolf. And that's when I had a brilliant idea. I whispered in his ear. The last little pig built his house out of bricks, 
and cement. He invited the other two little pigs over to stay, and they huddled up for the night. This time they all expected to hear from the big bad wolf who came knocking at their door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in," said the wolf. "Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin," laughed the little pigs. The wolf huffed and puffed and puffed and huffed, and he just couldn't blow the house made of bricks down. The three little pigs laughed and laughed. And the wolf ran away. He had no puff left. Thank you, oinked the little pigs. Little cooks to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. A house of bricks, eh? What a clever idea! But what to cook for three little pigs? They're very good at building, aren't they? Way! That's true, Ben. But what can we cook for them? Hmm. This is a difficult one. I know, big cook's big cookery book. Of course, the big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in big cook's book. Small look, just the thing. Crispy bricks. They look great. The three little pigs will love them, and it will remind them of their house made of bricks. Come on then, small. You read out the ingredients, and I'll see if we've got them. Okay, let's see. We're going to need mini marshmallows. Okay, over to the cupboard. Here we go. Mini marshmallows. Got those small. Puff rice cereal. Puff rice cereal. Oh yes, here it is. Caster sugar. Caster sugar. Got the sugar small. Cocoa. Oh, cocoa. Yep. And butter. Butter in the fridge. Here we go. Butter. Yep. Here we are. Everything we need for the recipe. Hey, look at this butter small. It's the same shape as a brick, just like the three little pigs used to build their house. Oh yes, so it is. I wonder how they got it into that shape, Ben. Hey, why don't you whiz off and find out, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Vroom! Small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Here I am. This is the right place. That tanker is arriving with today's delivery of milk. That man is connecting up the pipes so that the milk can travel from the tanker into this big dairy, which is where butter is made. Wonder what's in there? It's all the milk. Do you remember where milk comes from? Milk comes from cows. Every day the farmer takes his cows to the milking parlour to be milked. Let's find out how milk is turned into butter. First, the milk is pumped through all these pipes, and then it's churned up in this machine. Oh, there's the butter. Mmm, I have butter on my toast for breakfast. This looks fun. The butter is being packed, ready to go to the shops. There it goes. The butter looks like bricks. That was brilliant. See you later. Hello. I found my building blocks. I'm going to see if I can build a house for Fluffy the rabbit to live in. Way! I'm back. Hello, Ben. What are you doing? Hello, Small. I found my building blocks. I thought we could build a house for Fluffy. Oh, that's a good idea, Ben. How was your trip? 
Oh, it was amazing, Ben. I know everything about butter. I saw all the ingredients mixed together, and then they made blocks just like bricks. Sounds great. We better get cooking. Good idea. Let's get on with the recipe. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to crispy bricks? You do? There were mini marshmallows. One cup. Puffed rice cereal. Two cups. Butter. One tablespoon. And for the icing, sugar. Two tablespoons. Butter. One tablespoon. And cocoa. One tablespoon. Whoopee! Let's get started! Hee-hee! <laughs> now the first thing we need to do is heat the butter over a low heat. So, over we go. In goes the butter. Turn on the heat. Give it a little bit of time to start to melt. And then add the marshmallows. And stir them until they start to melt. Now make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because remember, the hob is hot, hot, hot. Three little pigs, three little pigs, building a house. Building a house, they made it out of straw and sticks. The last one made it out of bricks. Three little pigs, three little pigs. Eee. That's a lovely song, Small. This is melted now, so it's time to add the puff rice. One cup, two cups, and mix it all together. Oh, all lovely and gooey. <laughs> Give it a good old stir round. There. This is done now, so turn off the heat. There. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, I wonder if Fluffy the rabbit would like to live here. <laughs> These are cool now, so take a teaspoon and pack them into an ice cube tray. Go. Press it down. And another one. These are going to be the bricks. That's it, Ben. Push it down. There. Now we need to put them in the fridge to set. In we go. And there. Great. I'd better see if my house is huff and puff proof. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow my house down. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Steady on, small. Oops, sorry, Ben. I didn't realize I had so much huff and puff. <laughs> oh, look, my house is blown down. How did that happen? It was made out of building bricks. Well, maybe you needed some cement to stick them together. Now it's time to make our buttercream cement for the crispy bricks. Ooh, that sounds tasty. How do we make it? Well, we put the butter and the sugar together in a bowl. How is that going to make cement? Well, I'm going to cream them both together like this. Round and round, nice and firm, and then add the cocoa powder, 
and I'm going to add a little water. And make a nice, smooth paste. Have the bricks set yet, Ben? Let's see, shall we? Oh, yes, they have small. All set. Huff. Puff. I'm practicing my huffs and puffs. I'm very good at it. The bricks have set now, so we can take them out like this. And we can add a little bit of the chocolate butter cement on the side. And start to stick our crispy bricks together. There's one. Big Cook Ben, Big Cook Ben, building a house, building a house. He built his house out of crispy bricks, he didn't use any straws or sticks. Big Cook Ben, Big Cook Ben. All done. You can make any shape you like. We'd better get it through to the three little pigs. Crispy bricks coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben, and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes. It looks like the three little pigs enjoyed their crispy brick small. And look, they've left a note. Oh, well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for our delicious crispy bricks. <laughs> we really love building things, and we hear you have a visitor who needs a house. So, to say thank you, we've built you something using the straw and the sticks we no longer need. Have a look by your back door. We hope it comes in handy. I wonder what it is. I'll go and see. Oh, wow! Look, Small! How kind! The three little pigs have built a rabbit hutch for Fluffy. That looks great! Fluffy will love it! In you go, Fluffy. Come on. There. In your new house. See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe. 